for example two, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find our products of pure imaginary numbers. So what we have here for A is we're gonna to have to do a little bit of multiplying. So if you take just your numbers and you multiply those together and you get negative 15. And if you take an I times an I, that's gonna give you an I squared. Well, if you remember from the previous example, I squared is equal to a negative one. So what we can do is we can take out that negative one, or sorry, we can take out that I squared, make that a negative one. So we're gonna have negative 15 times negative one. That's gonna give us a positive 15 after we multiply through. Yay, there's example 2A. Now for B, what we need to do is we need to take this I out just kidding, we need to take the negative out and make it an i in front of each of these. So then what we can do from here is you can multiply anything that's on the outside, which would be your i and your i, and you can multiply those and get an i squared. And then we can multiply anything that is underneath our radicals, six and a 15, and we can make that a 90. And what we need to do from here though is we need to simplify a little bit further so we can make our i squared a negative one. However, with your 90, remember you must reduce. So we're gonna break this down, we're gonna say two times 45, five times nine, and then we're gonna look for any doubles of any numbers. So it looks like we got a couple threes here. That means these threes are gonna come outside of our square root. This five and this two, they're gonna have to be left underneath and multiplied together. So let's make this over here. Let's get rid of this negative one. Let's put this over here. So negative one times your threes can come out as just a three. Your five times your two stays underneath. So that means eventually we finally get the answer of negative three times square root of 10. That is how you can simplify some of your eyes. Ouch, my 